action. So you could add quad muscles. They, could, uh, <laughs> they will, yeah, they do that. They do all that. Kind of just a few awkward stimulus. So I usually sit like this too, so. <laughs> So in terms of place, you've got 25 hectares here in Mahana. Yep. 25 hectares on Waimea Plains. That's, that's right, yeah. The Waimea Plains are obviously going to give you a lot more minerality. And yeah, you see that in the Riesling, um, the free, free draining gravels. So the wines there are very kind of um, elegant, pristine, um, fresh with a nice minerality. Mm. So up here in Mahana, with the clay-bound gravels um, a lot richer. Um, a lot older and more complex and you see that in the, in the Pinot Noirs from this site and they, they offer a lot more richness, power, flesh and, yeah. and body. And organic, certified organic? Yeah, if you're saying your, your wines are truly site and season driven, the grapes have to be grown naturally and that means that my job of making the wines naturally is a lot easier too. Art is a big part of how we um, evolved and came about. I love being in this environment, it m makes me feel quite humble to sort of be amongst sort of fantastic art like this. Oh yes, I yeah. Live a party. She's alive. <laughs> so Shane, this is the this is the mad scientist in you, isn't it really? Something different in uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Yes, that's right. This is Sauvignon Blanc um, was fermented on its skins for just over two weeks um, and then finished its fermentation in this, um, in this barrel. Um, it's oh, thank you. a bit greedy, thank you, lovely. So this is an acacia barrel as well, which is just uh, giving us something a bit different to the wine. So, so acacia, I mean that's, <clears throat> why acacia particularly? Um, acacia is specifically suited to quite aromatic white wines, um, so it respects the fruit. Um, also provides kind of, um, re respects a lot of the freshness in the wine um, and provides um, a character that is a bit weirdly wild. And, um, yeah. yeah. That's delicious actually. So this is really just an ex for you as experimental lot, isn't it? I mean, you're not going to um, make huge quantities of this one. No, I guess it's just in, in a progressive range, I guess, so that we're trying to see um, we're trying to um, see what the, um, oh, I don't know, no idea really. <laughs> just well, like just it, yeah. stuffing around what really. Happens, what happens if it all goes yeah. wrong? What happens if it all goes yeah, wrong? Yeah, just run, run away. <laughs> you run away, <laughs> you, you pour it down the thing and run away. I wouldn't call them mistakes, but things don't turn out as they should have or as you expected. Um, and you learn from them and every year we do more of what works best in, in the past. So, um, and that's, you know, if you don't, if you don't, learn from your mistakes then you're not going to learn anything so we, we aim to do um, as much um, much alternative wine making every year as we can but it, it all ends up making a subtle but significant um, impact on, on the style of the wine. Well cheers Shane, thanks for showing me the, the, the vineyard, thanks for showing me this particular new style that you're, you're working with, it's been fantastic. You're welcome, it's all in a day's work. Indeed. Here's cheers. Life.